I'm John Wright, head chef at number 10 Hotel, Glasgow. Today I'm going to cook chocolate fondant uh, with butterscotch sauce and tablet ice cream. So I'll talk you through the ingredients first. What we've got here is 100 grams of dark chocolate, 84 grams of butter, 3 whole eggs, 1 egg yolk, and 40 grams of soft flour. So, first thing to do is make sure that your oven's preheating. We're setting at 190 degrees here. Just, you can do it in a normal oven, obviously. So, to begin with, you want to melt your chocolate and your butter in a baby marine. So when I say a baby marine, just a metal bowl, pot of water, and over like that. And I'll just melt away. Stops it burning. While that's happening, get your sauce on the go. So here we have 200 grams of sugar, 200 mils of cream, and 100 grams of butter. So just sugar into the pot on a very low heat. Just keep that there. It has to be in a low heat because if it's in high, it will burn very easily. Um, that's really it. So you just sugar's on for the sauce, chocolate and butter's melted. Well that's happening. Well that's happening, we will whisk up our eggs. So we'll get three eggs, whole eggs, into the bowl. One egg yolk into the bowl. And just bring that together. This gives the fondant a really rich texture and helps to hold it as well. Make sure they're well beaten. Very quickly you should start seeing your sugar starting to caramelise. If you don't have it in a low heat then if you want to put it in a high heat, ideally you want to stand over it because it will burn really fast. Just make sure this is all coming together. You see that melting? You want it to then combine. Here you'll see the sugar starting to go. This is what you're looking for. See how quick that is. Okay, so that's your chocolate and butter all melted. Once that's happened, we fold in our sugar to our chocolate mix. Making sure that we get every bit up the side. Add in your eggs. Again, just making sure it's well mixed in. And still you see it coming a lot richer now, a nice dark colour. And the last job, put your flour in. This just helps to hold the fondant mix when it's baking. You should see it become really, really thick. Make sure all the lumps of sugar and flour 
are out of the mix so that when you bake it you don't get clumps. your fondant mix done. We're putting it in a piping bag, it's obviously if you don't have it at home you can just put it into your mould, but this is the way we do it here. Just makes things a lot cleaner. So fondant mix into the piping bag. That's you good to go. So, get your small mould, you get these in any supermarkets, and they're actually really good because, although they say non stick, uh, we like to use baked spray, but lining your mould with butter or oil, just a small bit, will give you that safety net. So, you've just done that. Mix it out. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just we're going to start cooking the fondant. So straight in with that, and that just goes into the oven for about ten to twelve minutes. So back to the sauce. I've just turned this up because now I can actually stand over it. You see the caramel starting to form now. So ideally you are looking for a dark caramel colour, almost burnt. That's the colour you're looking for. So now, off the heat, slowly add your cream because it's going to solidify. So you add your cream, nice and slow. Then add your butter. Back on the heat just to help melt the butter. And that's you. Scotch sauce. Check your consistency. You're happy with that. Should just kind of run off the spoon. And that's you good to go. So that can stay in a low heat now. Check on your fondant. It's telling us we've still got seven minutes, so now's the waiting game. Okay, so that's went for roughly nine minutes. Um, I'm going to take it out right now. 
best way to check is still a little bit, you know, it's still spongy, still got a small bounce. So, obviously when picking this up, be careful because it's hot. Best way I find is just on like that. If you've got a little bit of resistance, just wait a second. And it should just pop out. Ideally, a short pond should be soft in the middle, so, moment of truth. We just finish with the sauce. Get our tablet ice cream. On the side there. And it's ready to go, so we'll see if it is soft in the middle. Yeah, there it is, look at all that. And that is chocolate fondant with butterscotch sauce and tablet ice cream.